so far. Um, we're just hanging out. Our appointment's not until 5 p.m. Uh, I always thought Walmart won't let you in until an hour before. Martin seems to feel we can go in two hours before. I'm going to consult the internet and uh, see what the general consensus is on that before we go over there. Uh, not a very far drive to get to Walmart from here. So that's a plus. And then uh, after that, assuming it doesn't take all night, we'll, we'll try to make the trek up to Idaho and uh, see if by any luck we could get our load on tonight. Uh, it's not to pick up till tomorrow, but if we get on tonight, that'd be really cool. And then we'll take our tent off and then roll out first thing in the morning. Um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking right now. Check out my phone cable. How freaking amazing. I know. I'm boring, guys. I'll tell you. I'm boring. All right, Birdo. Are we ready to go, bit, go, go to the next truck stop, see if we can find a parking spot? Yeah. No. Uh, you want to turn out the light back there? Maybe you don't know how. Can I press this? Yeah, that's it. I'm going to turn out that one. Wow. Trucker already. Good job. If you've ever tried to turn left out of the TA across this highway, you know what I'm experiencing right now. And if you have it, you probably don't want to. Do you guys believe that? They literally have lights on in there. Everything's working. But they have a sign that says no power closed. It smells like something died here too. It's gross. Perhaps the taw was better. The manager says, well, it'll be at least 30, 40 minutes. Because even though our power's on, we can't open the doors because it takes that long for the computer system to boot up. They must be running one of those computer systems from the 1980s. <laughs> Using dial-up, logging in with their America fun. Online. <sighs> Look. 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 Well, These were on this morning. When I walked around for my pre-trip, those were on. This. What kind of sorry sack of potatoes are you if you gotta walk up to a truck and steal parts off of it? I mean, come on, people. You are horrible. I can't believe that. So, yeah, we're hanging out with Tom driving my Braille. <laughs> Lucky for me, I happened to have found a lug nut somewhere. Where'd you find that lug nut? I found it at the, uh, I was doing my walk around. I found it at the Loves in Wyoming Wham Center. Hey, I stopped there earlier. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I did. It wasn't for me. Uh, it was in a ditch. I think somebody went off and it fell off or something. Oh man. And it just had me a perfect match, so that's helpful. That's $2 less than I need to spend. I gotta restock up on these. So I guess we'll stop at the Truckers Inn. But I mean, come on. 
they, they cost like two dollars each you're gonna be that big of a piece of crap that you're gonna go steal five of them off of a truck because you can't afford to go buy them yourself so on a positive note Tom was able to help out and get the belt tightened for me super cool no more squeaky squeaky It is uh, 3 p.m. So I uh, called Walmart earlier and I asked them, hang on, I got a call coming in. That was scammers. They were trying to say they're from the Umqua Fraud Department. I said, I don't even have an account at Umqua and Umqua says that they don't call people. So I'm pretty sure you're scammers. And they said, you have a Visa debit card with us. And I said, I do not. And then they hung up scammers man low life pieces of doo-doo just like the guys that stole my lug nuts anyway where was i it's 3 p.m i called walmart because they do have a number you can call and they actually you get a person that is there and i asked them uh how early can i come in they said they won't they won't take me though um until an hour before so we're going to try to uh see if they'll take me an hour and a half before because somebody else thinks that they should Martin um, he's actually surprised I'm not over there yet it's like why they, they told me they won't take me and he's like they lie <laughs> so we're gonna find out if they'll take me early um, good time uh, catching up with Tom it's always nice when you can see friends on the road just makes things more interesting uh, appreciate that he was able to get the belt to stop squeaking much nicer not hearing that every time the compressor kicked on and uh, yeah we had some Denny's that was a weird experience they're out of uh, country gravy they were out of um, white toast they didn't say white bread they said we're out of white toast um, and it took like a really crazy long time to get our food like almost an hour or so Wally World, DC. Uh, there's only one guard lady working though, and there's a lot of trucks. Um, I am the only over the road truck in line currently, um, but there's a lot of Walmart trucks. There's one, two, three, four, and a fifth one just left. Have you been here before? I haven't. Okay. So this is where you're at. You're going to go up and around, so you're going to go up, down, and around yep. outside the building. You can see them on here but there's these signs and they light up with your door number when you're done they will also send me a text message so that's cool uh, the other neat thing is they apparently do this thing where I can get all my paperwork my in and out times all that jazz and they'll release me and then they will do the final count and all that. And then they will email me the bills showing the count. 
so I'm not here waiting while they're counting the product. So, what's that? No, what is it? I sent you like a... You need to go to the bathroom? Yeah. All right. I also need it. Or... You what? Also, I need it. Okay, well, you want to use the bathroom or not? Use the bathroom. All right, let's go. Got my paperwork. Uh, we are short two cases. I mean, that has nothing to do with me other than I need to give the broker a call and uh, give them a heads up, I guess. So I'm gonna do that real quick here and we're gonna go find our trailer. Well, I mean, I know where it is. We're gonna go get our trailer and uh, hook up. And I'm also gonna call the shipper in Idaho and see if we can load tonight because if we can't then we'll go stay at the truck stop I choose to be on hold with them for. Doing air. Ooh, the lighting. Drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone.